Hey y'all, I'm Kat and I'm back with another DIY video. Before I get started, I would like to thank all my new subscribers and to my returning subscribers. Hey girl, hey. So, as you know, my lights are still out in my kitchen, but they are on their way to fix it. So while I wait on them, I'm going to do this quick DIY project. I found this material at Amazon. It is a shower curtain. I got it for $13.99 and it has a lot of beautiful colors in it that caught my eye. I couldn't find a picture, so I decided to order this shower curtain and make my own wall art as I always do when I can't find what I'm looking for. So let's get into this. Okay, so here's what I'm going to use to make this project. This is a shower curtain, not plastic, it's fabric. I ordered it from Amazon. It will be listed in the description box below. And here's the color says, comes in the shower curtain. So what I'm gonna do is see what part of this I'm gonna use for my picture. And then I'm gonna measure it to the size of the canvas and staple it to the back of the canvas. And then I'll have a picture. So this total project is gonna cost me $13.99. I already have the canvases in the basement and Michaels always have canvases on sale. So I didn't need to go out and buy any canvas, but I chose this fabric because it has so many different colors and you can use it for different rooms. For instance, this one has the gold looking and peach color and gray. As, and then on this side, it has the green And then on this side, it has the turquoise. So you could probably get, depending on what size picture you're doing, you could probably get four out of the size that I'm using, which is the 12 by 24 inch, and two comes in a pack. So let me measure this material, and then I'll show you my next step. Okay, I did a sample test, and I'm just using a regular staple gun, and it did go inside of the canvas, so, that's what I'm going to use to attach the fabric to the canvas. This part right here is the part that I decided to use because I like these colors right here. It goes with my color scheme. Okay, so this is what I decided to use. I didn't want any of that turquoise in there, so I started where the turquoise started fading to blue. And then I'll try to map it out for you guys so you can see. I'm just gonna cut my fabric long enough to tuck it behind the frame. And since this crease is in here, I'm gonna go upstairs and iron it once I cut the piece out. So even though I'm gonna attach it to this, I don't want to see that seam once I get done. I want it to lay flat. So that's the design I decided to use out of all this fabric that I still have left. Because this, this part of the fabric matches my color scheme very well. If you go back and look at what I got for Valentine's Day, you will see some pictures that has the same exact colors in them. So it's gonna all tie in on one, both sides of my kitchen. Okay. This is how much fabric I have left over after I already cut out the piece that I'm gonna use. So I could put the rest of it in a package and save it for if I need any of these other colors for another project. So this is well worth $13.99 to spend on a project because you can get multiple uses out of it as opposed to going to the fabric store. So keep that in mind because I'm always down to save a dollar. Okay, I've ironed it and then I started stretching them around the fabric. And I just wanted to show you how the staples look. I did the inside and then I folded my corners. And then I went back over and stapled it again. 
And then on this side, did the same thing. And I'm gonna take the staples all the way up. Make sure you get your fabric nice and tight. And I'm gonna finish this process. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I get finished. It's really simple. The main part of this project that you have to be careful, you have to make sure that your fabric is pulled as tight as it can be. So once you flip it over, it will be a flat surface. So let me finish this and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Okay, I'm just coming back to show you that this part is complete. And then now I'm gonna wrap the other side and then I'll be finished. Please do not rush the project. You might have to flip it over every now and then to make sure everything is smooth. But the one good thing about it is it's not hard to remove these staples. So let me continue. And then I'll show you the finished product. I'm gonna show you how I do my corners. So first, I staple to right here. Then, when it gets right here, I take this piece of fabric and put it over here. Tack all of this down, and I'm pulling this really, really tight, and then I'm gonna add staples right here. Okay, you see how I have my corner? It's nice and tight. So, go up, material up, And take this piece, secure it, and then you're gonna fold this piece over like this. But of course I gotta straighten this part out, but this is what it looks like. Now I left this like this on purpose. If your staples is sticking up, all you have to do is take the end of your scissors and smash it. This in there is not going anywhere. This one is flat. Okay, so here is the finished product for my wall art. Done with a shower curtain. I'm not sure if y'all can tell, but my lights are in. They fix both sides. I officially have light back in my kitchen. So now I can get back to my cooking videos. And I have, I'm gonna hang it with some command strips. This is the picture hanging on the wall and you will see the entire picture in my I revamp my kitchen video. And then let me show you the back of it. This is what the back of it looks like. I kind of went back over it, even though you're not gonna be able to see it. I think that's the OCD in me, but I went back over it and cleaned it up a little bit to make it look a little better because because even though you can't see it i would know that it's back there and then i would take it down and would have fixed it anyway so i might as well just did it now but yeah this is a quick and easy diy no i did not come up with it but i did see someone do it a long time ago and i said when i couldn't find that picture and um, i thought about it and i was like you can do that shower curtain DIY. So that's what I chose to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next one.